Yeah, we All right, all right. Right now we're with the we're, we're the expo. We live at the uh, sister sister joint. Uh, we're here walking around. I know it's really loud noise. A lot of people out there. Yo, gotta feel the excitement in here. You know, uh, we got a lot, we got a lot of people out here. Walking around. Got some video games up in here. Alright. Yeah, just some kind of event, I guess. Okay. Alright. Breaking it out. Originally from Chicago. Oh my God. I used to model. 
I, I went into commercials. I, I thought, you know, small screen at first. Did a small independent film. Got my feet wet a little bit. Moved to LA. Gave myself a goal of one year to make it a break in six months. I had played a club, and the rest of history. I'm still riding that roller coaster. Yeah. Awesome. Can y'all hear it back there? All right. Okay. Hey, cool. the visual arts in Manhattan. I studied um, film production and um, I just kind of slowly worked my way up uh, from PA to a first assistant director, then as a producer. Got a call from his brother one day, his name was Tyler Perry, he wanted me to work on one of his shows. That was in 2004. I, I went to Atlanta, I thought I was going to come here and just do one movie and I never left. And so um, I worked with Tyler, the executive vice president of his company for seven years. Then two years ago, I decided to start my own company, Bobcat Films. Uh, since then, we've done the Ricky Smiley Show on TV One and a bunch of other projects, and that's why I'm here. Okay, what do you think, in your experience, it takes to be an actor or actress? Not to become one, but to be one and stay in the game. I, I, I wish I could say talent, but I can't really just say that now because of the way TV is going. Uh, you can be anything you want to be and show anything, anybody what you want to show them, which I think is a shame. However, I'm not a real fan of reality TV right now, although I've had my own reality show, but I'm just real grown with mine. Real grown and sexy. You would never see me acting a fool, buffoonery, acting crazy. Got kids and showing the kids how, you know, I'm acting, acting crazy. That would never be. At some point, you need to have responsibility and be a role model because we really are. You're a role model to your, your cousins, your little sisters, your family members, and people that's watching you. So I think the older that I have got, the more mature, more seasoned that I've gotten, understand that I no longer want to do the things that I've done five years ago or even last year, this year. So growth and tenacity and drive and honesty, a realness about yourself, paired up with going to school and doing it the old-fashioned way and, and having skills <laughs> get you there. That sets me aside from, you know, the stars or the celebrities opposed to the actors and actresses. I am an actor. Yeah, and it's Roger, never too late to go to school. Roger, Roger. Uh, well, go ahead. Um, I would say it takes a combination of knowledge and passion. If you're getting into this industry to be famous, if you're getting into this industry to have money, it's not always going to be there. Your level of success may be different, but it doesn't necessarily mean that your level of success is bad. And I would also say the knowledge, because while Roger Bob went to school, I've just been an idiot all my life, so I've watched people. I've, I've really, really studied the characteristics of the people I see around me, and I've stored that. I don't know who I'm going to have to play next. I might have to be you in the next movie. I might have to be this person. But just having the knowledge of what you can take in, what you can absorb, and use later, is a real asset as well. That black guy with the... Uh, Let's give it up for single lady in House of Pain over here. Woo! <laughs> Love those shows. Yeah, Roger, 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 the ones who are in it not for the stardom or the fame, but because they really can't do anything else, because emotionally, physically, they want to act, they have to act. Like, actors have to act. Like, it's in them, it's innate. And so the ones who are truly passionate about it, and the ones who are obviously back it up with the talent, are the ones who eventually stay. But there's a lot of luck involved, too. You know, it's not, unfortunately, in this business, it's not always about talent. It's not always about skill. It's not always about passion. There's a lot of luck involved. 
And so when those things meet, you have Elisa Ray McCoy and Demetria McKinney. Kind of Ramona the Bro. You know what? <laughs> I was, I was going to ask you a question, Roger. Right, I'm sure that both of our uh, producers and actors want to know. When you're looking for someone, you know, you kind of... Right, he's looking for somebody. See, he's looking for somebody. When they come into the office, or you... All right, we're still, we still at the event right now. Uh, we got to do, do an art. There's something I could do right here. We'll come back to... Um, we were talking earlier. That's right, huh? Who charge for that? Uh, what's that? Box 5. Now, you may not get that role, but a lot of times... Who's Box 5, man? Box 5. Huh? Yeah. 